Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you who are new. My name is Tori and this is At Home with Tori. This is going to be another budgeting video. I tried to record this last night and I just, it was just a mess. So I'm starting over. I had to get a brand new sheet of paper. Thankfully I only use one of these um, front and back every pay period or every, I guess actually every month because we only get paid usually twice a month. So this is going to be just a complete redo of what I was planning on doing yesterday because it was just a big fail. So I have already written on here our income. I have our budgeted income and our actual income. And the reason I'm doing that is just to show you guys if I went always off of our budgeted income, sometimes that's not enough. And the reason for that really is our food spending and our miscellaneous spending. So we're trying really hard to stay within our budget. Sometimes we fail because that's life and things come up that you don't expect, which is why I have sinking funds. So um, when I started doing our sinking funds, that's whenever a lot of our income started looking like it was less, but it really isn't because it's going into savings. So I digress. Let's go ahead and get started writing on all of my bills, my envelopes, and my sinking funds. So one thing that I did differently this pay period is I moved our car insurance over here to a sinking fund. And the reason for that is because we paid all up front this last month because we got new car insurance. So now we're going to be putting our, I split up what our payment would be for the next six months. And now we're going to be putting that towards a sinking fund. So that's over here in sinking funds. And so is our vitamins because last, I think I talked about it a little bit in my last video, which I'll link up here. But our vitamins are something that I buy every couple months. It's not something that I buy all the time, but we do buy quite a bit of them for our kids. I just thought it would be easier to put it into a sinking fund instead of having it as a cash envelope because it's not something I pull from all the time. So our cash envelopes are pretty minimal. As you can see, it's just going to be food, household, our personal, which my husband doesn't even do personal because I have to leave his on a card. <laughs> Um, so my personal pets and miscellaneous in case we overspend. So let's go ahead and get into the bill portion of this. I will let you know if anything has changed, but if you've been watching my videos for a while, pretty much everything's still the same. I'm hoping that this mortgage payment will actually go down a little bit. This is just our buy weekly or not bi-weekly i just put it into a fund so that it comes out of our paycheck twice a month instead of once a month because it's a pretty big hit so that's not the full amount that's just half um, our tithe our car payment our electric went down recently our water went up <laughs> that will probably actually go up even more because we had to do a little bit of landscaping um i guess fixing some mess ups so i'm trying to water like crazy right now to make sure our grass doesn't die um, we live in the desert so it's not <laughs> it's not easy to keep grass alive our life insurance is 33 dollars our gasoline is going to be a hundred dollars our credit cards are going to be 98 this month I'm hoping we can start really attacking our debt. I keep saying that, but things keep coming up and it's been difficult. I'm sure you guys know it's life. Life is hard and it's really hard to get out of debt once you get into it. So don't get into debt. That's my PSA for the day. Okay, and miscellaneous gets 10. So let's add that up real quick. That's 1200. So I'm going to show you our budgeted and then our actual because I do know our actual amount. So um, $1,652 minus $1,200 leaves us with $452. Okay, and then 
1719 minus 1200 is 519. All right, so for food, this is gonna be a little weird, but I had already spent a little bit of our food budget on Saturday. Saturdays are the days that we spend the most money. I wish it wasn't like that, but it is. So what I did was our normal amount is 325. So I took 325 minus the amount we spent, and that leaves us with 245. So had to make a trip to Whole Foods and get some groceries. So also I don't normally shop at Whole Foods. That was kind of like a last minute thing my husband wanted to do and it was expensive. So we're not gonna be doing it very often, but I am trying to meal plan and meal prep this week. So hopefully we won't even spend all of that. So 245 and that is for two weeks. Our household is going to get $10. Our personals are going to get 13 this month. And I do that because I, we get 12 one, one pay period and 13 the next pay period to equal 25 for the month. I know that seems like a little amount, but honestly, guys, I never hardly spend any of my own personal money. And if I do, it's usually towards eating out, and it's the same for my husband. So we try really hard not to spend personal money. Um, so I've had a lot of comments on that, but it's really about trying to control our spending and fix some of our bad habits. This time we're not gonna do any pets, uh, anything for pets, just because I have, I think, $38 already saved up and I'm not planning on buying anything right now. So that should be good to last me until the next pay period. Um, if not, we'll make some changes. And then $10 for miscellaneous. So let's add this up real quick. And that comes out to 291. 61. And this is where I'm going to show you guys that if I went based off of our budgeted income that we would not have enough. Got to do something about that. Got to make more money, I guess. All right. So cell phones, again, we use Met Mobile and our year is coming up in the middle of October, I believe. So we are almost fully funded on that. Um, partially in thanks to some of you guys who have reached out to me and gotten the code for Mint Mobile. Um, I usually try to leave the link, but I'm not sure the link is working so much anymore. So if you ever use my Mint Mobile referral, make sure to let me know because sometimes it's not giving the referral credits like it's supposed to. Um, but thankfully to some of you guys, I have gotten quite a bit, I think about $100 in referral credit. So thank you so much for that. Our car maintenance is going to get $10. House maintenance gets $12. Christmas still gets $40. i am trying to save as much as I possibly can for Christmas and our anniversary and our birthdays because it literally all falls in like the fall and winter time and we're almost there. So <laughs> I'm not doing any for clothes this pay period just because we don't need it really. We have um, I think about $80 saved up in my sinking fund for that so we don't need it right now. Um, subscriptions gets $10. Car insurance gets $106 and that's what's throwing us off a little bit this time around. So I'm going to change our car insurance to where instead of it being the $106 I'm going to take out $53 and then I'll just do that every pay period and that will work out. That makes it $175. Leaves us with a negative $14 on this one, but our actual amount is 228 minus 175 leaves us with a positive $53. And I am going to be throwing all of that at debt. So extra, can you guys see that? Credit card. And it's going to be $53. All right, guys, let's switch over to the cash envelope breakdown. And our categories are going to be food, household, my personal, not doing anything for pets, and then miscellaneous. So it's going to be, like I said earlier, 245. Household is going to be 10. My personal is 13. And then miscellaneous is 10. That's going to give us a total of 278 to work with. And I am going to break it down like this. We're gonna do 100. Once again, I can't ever get 50s or 10s from my bank, and I know that's crazy, but they say that it's they don't carry it because nobody needs it. It's not in demand. And I'm like, but I need it. They don't care. 
two fives for that, three and two, and then two. So let's add these up. So we're going to need one, seven, two, four, six, seven, and three. So $3, $35, uh, 140 dollars, and $100. So one, 240, 275, six, seven, and 278. Okay, so I already wrote it out, and this is going to be what I take to the bank, and it's got the exact same thing, so three ones, seven fives, no tens, no fifties, seven twenties, and one 100 equaling 278. I made a mistake there, so it's hard to see, sorry. Okay guys, so we're back for the cash stuffing portion of this video, and this is gonna go real quick because most of my money is gonna come out and be into the food envelope. So we have a leftover of $86 in my food envelope for this pay period, well, from last pay period, and to that we're gonna be adding 245. So, I do know that the majority of my cash is right there. So 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, and 245. All right, and we're gonna add that to $86. And then I will count it again for you guys so you can see how much we have total. All right, so now we have 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. So we have three 31 in our food envelope. And don't worry, I will update that number as soon as I'm done filming. Next is going to be our personal, or my personal envelope, which has a balance of $26. Like I told you guys, I really just don't spend a lot of money out of my personal money. So to that, we're gonna be adding $13, 5, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So, now we have a total of 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, and $39. In my personal envelope, which will probably get spent on food because I don't buy anything for myself except food. Next is going to be pets, but we are not doing pets this pay period because I have a balance of $38 and we aren't planning on spending anything. Next is going to be our household envelope, which has a balance of $30. And to that, we are just going to put $10 in there. So we should have $40, but let's be sure. I've got 20, 25, 30, 35, and $40 for household. And I don't know if you guys know, you probably do, but what I use the household envelope is mainly for any cleaning supplies, um, laundry supplies, toilet paper, paper towels, things like that. So anything that is not food, but that I would normally buy at like the grocery store, that's what I use my household envelope for. And then last but not least is our miscellaneous envelope, which has a balance of ten dollars if you can see that and i'm adding ten dollars to it so that will change our balance to twenty dollars five ten fifteen and twenty all right that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so by hitting that subscribe button and clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Make sure to reach out to me in the comments if you have any questions about anything or if you just want to say hi. I love talking to you guys all the time. I'm actually thinking about doing a Q&A and maybe even with my husband so that we can show you guys kind of how we do our, our budgeting um, meetings. And if you guys are interested in that, make sure to leave me some questions down below in the comments and look out on my Instagram for a post talking about that Q&A for more chances to leave questions. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.